Aaron, the firefighters have been working here for over 20 hours already today. We've been watching them bring out bodies right throughout the day. They're up there now, high up, going, going through the last bit of rubble. They believe there are bodies up there. This has just been going on all day. Residents asleep as a Russian missile ripped through their apartments. Rescuers in this small central Ukrainian city, Uman, on the scene fast. Sergei was one of the first. There were terrible screams of children. The explosion was very powerful. The houses started to shake in the nearby areas. The first one we pulled out was a living woman who was put in the ambulance, but she died in hospital. The death toll climbing through the day. This lady telling us she heard the missile put her kids in the bathtub and pillows over their heads and hoped they'd live. Fighting back tears, she said, so many children live here. A gaping concrete and rubble wound where those innocent lives shattered. The first missile strike in Uman since March last year. Families and friends desperately awaiting news of loved ones. This lady telling us her friend on the eighth floor survived, but the friend's two daughters, one 13 years old and the other just seven, are still missing. A firefighter takes us up to see those top floors. Onto the roof, nine floors above the recovery teams. You can see how the building has literally collapsed down here. There should be building right out here and the floors pancake down with the roof tipping over down there. From here the damage even more devastating than below. More than half the building's 46 apartments destroyed. So the firefighters will come up here and as they've been doing all day in this dangerous mission here, literally putting themselves in danger to try to recover, to, to clear, clear out the site, to bring solace. Ukrainian officials believe all this devastation caused by a single Russian KH-101 stealth cruise missile. It is the single deadliest strike on civilians since January. 109 people registered living here. As night fell, many of them still unaccounted for. And this effort here to find the last of the missing is massive. The police, the firefighters, they say they're going to work through the night. They're not going to give up. We've seen police here doing DNA testing for families, police psychologists counseling grieving family members here. It is a massive outpouring of support. It's a message for the Ukrainians to themselves. It's a message to President Putin from the Ukrainians. No amount of shelling is going to make them give up.